We initiate by tacking the tubes in place. Following the design we made with the modeling blocks, From the beginning, we must inform you that we are not specialized in fabrication, Teague welding, but we try to do our best, and we hope the come out will be good. Ah oh, man. All the pieces were chamfered and cleaned with isopropylic alcohol, for best welding results and the best aesthetics, after we tack all the pieces in place, we proceed to the final welding passages. Back purging with gas for a better weld penetration and no sugaring on the inner side of the tubes. We will do this with all the remaining pieces of this puzzle. We have used for this job 42mm cold drawn SS tube with 2.7mm wall thickness for better mechanical and thermal resistance. This is the outcome for one side. On the other side, the same process will be repeated. After some long welding hours, we managed to finish the manifold. Now, it's time for a little flow test, the classic paper test. And it looks that it passed it. The engine is in his rightful place. Next, we prepare all the setup for the dyno session. We brought the car to Vector Custom and Service for the dyno session using their high-end Dynapack Hub Dynamometer. In this session, we do the engine break-in process. After a quick oil and filter change, we will proceed to the final steps in tuning the engine. On all our projects, we only use oils from Repsol. Specifically, Repsol Master Racing 10W60 oil. Step by step, we initiate to tune the engine with ordinary pump gas, 100 octane, to have a good starting point for ethanol tune. We have in plan to run E85 fuel mix for the final steps. After we will finish doing some part of the pump gas tune, on some lower boost levels, we will retorque the heads, to give the chance to the copper rings to seat better and have a much better ceiling. Too bad that our good friends stood just in front of the camera. Now, it's time for the final tune steps of our project. We will try to go as high as we can with boost levels and power. We are monitoring EMAP exhaust gas pressure before the turbo, EGT on individual cylinders, also turbo speed, and much more. Thanks to our cutting-edge MaxiQ Pro, brought by Vector Custom and Service, in this manner we can identify problems, possible exhaust manifold back pressure, and turbo efficiency. Now we will put on display some of the final runs. With power exceeding 1100 WHP and 1400 Newton meters at the hub, we are close to our target.
more runs at these levels, but not all have been recorded. Anyways, we have managed to get our best run out of it at almost 2.4 bar and 90% duty cycle out of a set of 1,500cc injectors with a 1,189 horsepower at the hub that will result, taking in consideration a, let's say, 10% to 12% transmission loses, will bring us to our target of 1 megawatt at the flywheel. That result, from what we know, may bring this project to be named the most powerful N62 in the world at this moment. We give our thanks to the main partners to this project, Garrett, Advancing Motion and Vector Custom, and Service for participating at this project. Thanks for watching, and let's see how reliable it will be this engine with the passage of time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share for future videos.